spreading the pox. A Harlequin Tokens deck. Alright folks, today we're going to be doing a new Timeline Rewind featuring the champion, Harlequin. So when I decided to build a new Harlequin deck, I had one goal in mind. To make just a scary amount of tokens and creatures and flood the board with them and just spread this pox everywhere with a bunch of pox spreaders and any other tokens and creatures I could find. Let's start building our timeline by adding some creatures right off the hop. First up, I think we'll go with five pox spreaders. Keeping in mind thanks to Harlequin, every time we cast one of these, we get a token of one for free. We can continue filling up the board at double speed by adding in some winged lattes, which each turn, at the beginning of a winged lattes turn, it creates a free Vaduta token that you can put adjacent to it. I thought that Beck and Break might be a good way for us to get a couple more free tokens into the game during play as well, so I put two of those into the timeline. Rounding out our creatures for this deck is some Angels of Death. With all these tokens everywhere, there's bound to be a creature dying each round, which will help the Angels hit for 6 damage. And lastly, I also added in a couple of Archons of Vengeance. I like these creatures. First time an ally is destroyed by an enemy, remove the Exert tokens off of the Archon and place it where that ally was destroyed. So if I have a token die near my enemy champion, I could have the Archon of Vengeance jump into that spot, ready to go. Now that I've chosen all my creatures and lots of fun ways to get extra tokens onto the board, it's time to start figuring out what other fun cards would go great into a Harlequin deck. Siphon Vitality felt like a good starting point. I figure even if there's not one of my enemy's creatures near me, there's probably always going to be a token or two kicking around that I could drain for some extra health, and extra health is always a good thing. Speaking of extra health, the next two cards I'm going to talk about at the same time because I feel like these two cards are a pairing that are just meant to be together. And of course I'm talking about Soulfire Strike and Pestilent Consumption. Imagine being in the middle of a game and you've summoned an entire army of small little tokens. And then the opportunity arises. You get close to your enemy's champion and that's the time to strike with Soulfire Strike. Sacrifice as many of your tokens as you want, and for each one you sacrifice, you hit your enemy's champion for one damage each. Then, to add insult to injury, a little pestilent consumption after that, and you gain that much health as well. You can totally change a board state at swift speed. Now again, with so many creatures likely to die in the game, since I have so many tokens on the board, I wanted to add in some more cards that would take advantage of the fact there's probably going to be one or two creatures dying every single round. So I went with some creatures that had Resurrect Beckon to get some more powerful, cheaper Beckons into the game. I also decided to add a couple more cards here that you'll see all take advantage of when a creature has died. The next card I decided to add was Pull of the Grave. I think this is a good card for this deck because it's going to be pretty easy for us to get some sort of token in close to where we want to do damage just to let it die and that's fine because then pull from the grave can hit any spot adjacent to where a token dies for us. We can do some big damage without having to get in close with our champion. Repurpose seems like a great card for this deck. I'd gladly trade a token for an extra card draw at the end of my turn. I'm not 100% sure if Recomposition is right for this deck, but it's only 3 Chi and we're gaining lots of health all the time, so I thought I'd start with a few of these. And then finally, here are the last two cards that I decided to put in my first version of this deck list. This timeline might change over time, but I thought this would be a good fun start and a great way of spreading the pox all over the board. And if only I had a chance to test this out. 